If I may uh, just uh, start with a few words. Uh, thank you so much to all you ambassadors for uh, convening uh, here. We are really delighted to uh, be able to uh, have this conversation. I'd like to uh, thank uh, very specially uh, uh, dear Ambassador uh, Nitivadi uh, Manikul, Ambassador of uh, Thailand and current chair of the uh, ASEAN uh, Committee in Brasilia, even from far away. <laughs> but uh, we are consider already you uh, a member of our Brasilia community here, of course. Uh, Ambassador uh, Pham Thi Kim Hua, uh, Ambassador of Vietnam and Deputy Chair of the ASEAN Committee. Uh, all ambassadors, uh, Chargé d'Affaires, it's really a, a pleasure to uh, to be here once more with you. I remember very fondly the uh, meeting we had uh, last uh, October uh, here in, in Brasilia. I hope to uh, make this a, a very uh, frequent and very productive uh, engagement with, uh, with all of you. I want to uh, 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 send our welcome, very warm welcome to uh, the newcomers, exactly the ambassadors of Thailand and Vietnam, whom I just uh, mentioned. I wish you all, all the uh, success in your uh, missions here in Brazil. Uh, I also want to congratulate ASEAN as a group uh, during the recent celebrated, celebrated 53 years uh, of existence. Uh, it has become the, uh, of course, uh, one of, or maybe the most dynamic blocks uh, in the world uh, in trade and uh, economic development but also in uh, uh, many other areas, uh, innovation, science. So Southeast Asia is really a, a region that we admire, that we uh, uh, look to uh, as an example and as a partner that we want to uh, be uh, very close to. The uh, dynamism of your region, of your individual countries, uh, and of ASEAN as a bloc is very inspiring uh, to Brazil. Uh, also this very uh, uh, productive and strong dynamic that you have between the individual countries and the, uh, and the group. This is something that we uh, have to uh, learn a lot from. We have uh, similar endeavors, as you know, in, uh, in our region, and uh, we think ASEAN can be an example of successful integration together with uh, successful individual uh, policies and, and approaches. Uh, similar to uh, what uh, happened with uh, ASEAN uh, countries, Brazil, under the leadership of President Bolsonaro, has sought to implement very, uh, a very broad reform project. We are in the middle, uh, as you know, of uh, very ambitious uh, reforms uh, in our economy, which uh, stem from a, a new approach, a new philosophy of uh, what we want for the country. Uh, we really are changing not just this or that policy, but uh, trying to change the system, a uh, whole system which existed in Brazil uh, for a long time uh, of uh, to uh, inefficient uh, uh, state uh, uh, ownership or centrality in the economy, uh, unfortunately with uh, corruption, with other uh, evils, uh, but uh, in any case a system that uh, gave us stagnation, economic uh, uh, underperformance, uh, and uh, a lack of uh, uh, social uh, d development, I mean, all the, uh, uh, all the uh, problems that you, uh, you know about. So we are trying to change this whole system and not uh, individual policies only. And uh, for that, we need this new philosophy, which is basically opening our economy, opening the country, uh, and looking towards the world with a new approach, not with fear, but with uh, the, the, uh, the uh, uh, certitude that we can uh, be more competitive by opening and not by closing our our economy. We need investment, we need trade partners more than ever. So um, uh, this is repositioning uh, Brazil in the, uh, in the global value chains. Uh, we already had some uh, success in, in our trade negotiations, but we want to go much, uh, much more in depth in that process. Uh, we uh, perceive now uh, with the uh, COVID pandemic that new opportunities emerge with all the problems that, of course, the pandemic is creating, but new opportunities uh, emerge uh, for investment. Uh, there are new currents of investment around the world, new currents of innovation also. Uh, we want to be a part of that, and for that also we need uh, new partnerships, uh, among them very specially with your, uh, with your countries. Uh, you uh, probably are aware of uh, some good news in our economy uh, in terms of the recovery. Uh, the, uh, uh, recovery is taking shape uh, very fast. Uh, all the uh, 
the data point to uh, uh, in that direction. Uh, confidence among uh, business people is growing very fast. In the population, it's growing very fast. People are returning to uh, uh, the, their normal activities as much as possible. Uh, and at the same time, the, uh, the figures uh, of the COVID are, are going down. Many states are already in, in the green level, which is the, uh, let's say, the, the safe or normal level. Other, uh, only a few uh, can, uh, states uh, among our states are still in the red level. Many are in the uh, yellow, but going towards green. So uh, it starts to feel uh, like a normal life uh, again, and uh, people are, want to produce, people want to, uh, uh, to uh, be a part of this big uh, recovery. So uh, you know of recent uh, important reforms, uh, like the, uh, well, last year the pension reform, but this year, during the pandemic, with all the difficulties, we managed to approve the, um, the reform of the uh, water and sanitation uh, law, which will allow for private investment in that area, which was uh, basically state-owned or, or municipality-owned. Um, so uh, recent very encouraging developments in our trade relationships with ASEAN that I would like to point to. Uh, in uh, 2019, the uh, trade between Brazil and the ASEAN countries reached uh, $19.4 billion, which was a historic record. Uh, in a way that taken as a whole, ASEAN was uh, Brazil's fourth main commercial partner uh, last year. And uh, during the uh, first seven months of uh, 2020, uh, ASEAN already became the third largest uh, commercial partner uh, of Brazil, taken as a whole. So it's, this is very encouraging and shows the importance of what we're talking about here. Um, we uh, are trying to strengthen our ties with uh, specific countries of your region, like Singapore, with whom we're negotiating a, uh, a free trade deal. Uh, also, we just uh, concluded the Mercosur-Vietnam uh, explore, uh, exploratory dialogue, very encouraging as well. And uh, we uh, wish to conclude shortly the uh, exploratory dialogue with uh, Indonesia. But we would like very much to uh, uh, do uh, the same and go much uh, forward with all your countries. Uh, uh, one specific area that I would like to uh, refer to, repatriation of our nationals. I want to, uh, to thank uh, all of you for the, the co cooperation in that area, a very complex uh, undertaking, uh, which uh, was, I think, successful, uh, successfully managed. It still is, because there are still some uh, Brazilians to, to be repatriated, but basically uh, we're very happy with all the cooperation that we received uh, from you in, in the whole world. We managed to uh, help the repatriation of uh, 38,000 Brazilians, a, uh, uh, an unprecedented uh, operation for us, and this was only possible because of the cooperation uh, of our uh, of our friends, uh, among them very especially uh, your countries, uh, with all the uh, logistic difficulties. So uh, we uh, we see uh, this partnership as something that we want to uh, to establish uh, with a view to uh, our new strategy in Brazil. Uh, the strategy of uh, a new uh, model of, uh, of for the economy, for the country, uh, for the uh, the whole system that we uh, that we want to build, uh, not only in trade and investment, but also as I referred to, uh, with the experience that your countries have in, in managing successful uh, economic processes uh, inside a uh, competitive uh, atmosphere. Uh, and uh, bringing uh, new uh, well-being to your people, because we're, that's ultimately what we, uh, uh, what we uh, aim to. So uh, we uh, also want to uh, diversify our people-to-people uh, -people, uh, connections, interpersonal the dialogue. This is essential. Uh, we uh, uh, think that this is going uh, forward, and we want this to go forward much uh, quicker. Of course, uh, distance is uh, not a problem, but it's uh, it's a challenge that we uh, uh, more and more uh, know we can we can overcome, because there's so much interest here in Brazil for your region, and uh, I believe this is the same uh, reciprocally. So we m must make the, the most uh, out of it. Uh, more people uh, to people ties, more business ties, of course, uh, will be uh, also a key to to success. So finally. Uh, I would like to mention that uh, you, the ambassadors in Brasilia, uh, can certainly play a key role uh, in this agenda that we want to, uh, uh, to build together. Uh, in order to uh, uh, share the ideas, 
uh, the ideas that we have with you, the ideas that you can bring us. This would be extremely important for us to hear from you. Uh, and also your role in, uh, let's say, explaining Brazil, explaining this new Brazil to your countries. Uh, sometimes uh, the things that we're doing are, are not well understood. This big change of philosophy, this big change in, in the model that we are promoting is not well uh, understood and uh, your role is essential that way. So we uh, want very firmly, that's my very uh, simple message, but we want a very strong Brazil-ASEAN partnership and we want to be uh, together with you, the ambassadors here uh, in Brasilia, in that uh, endeavor. So uh, I would very much like to meet you in person uh, very soon to, uh, to uh, have a, a lunch with you again or dinner as soon as we can, or many, <laughs> or many uh, occasions like that. Uh, before that, we uh, would very much like to, uh, to meet again uh, virtually or in any format. Uh, I also would very much like to uh, visit your countries as soon as uh, air travel is uh, normalized. Uh, but uh, very much, uh, I would very much like to make this point. We want uh, to conceive this as a group that we will work together towards a, a very strong Brazil-ASEAN partnership. So that's my, my message. Thank you so much.